I love. I love. The class. The class. The class. Go five. Go five. Go five. I love. Five. I love the class of. Go five. I love the class. I love the class of O five. I love the class of the class of O five. Yes. I love the class of O five. The color pop. Well, I taught in the early 80s, and the color pop was popular then, and Harold's was very big. I hear, anyway, that it makes you more attractive, and um, brings you more friends, actually. I hear that um, you go out to lunch more often, cash flows freely in your direction, and actually, I think you also star in movies when you pop your collar. I don't know, this is, it's just what I hear. There's no real reason for it. Yes, I often pop my collar because I feel really hot when I do it. I don't know. Stupid. Does it make you look cooler? They're really cool. I hate popping collars, and if you pop collars, I don't want to be your friend. I believe people that pop the collars probably have some kind of insecurity problem and they need to feel like they're a part of something special. Um, one of the main <laughs> culprits of that are definitely Tony DeGiusti, Chris Gaspera. Like Michael Zermeli and... You mean like that Brian Curl thing? However high your collar is, is how shallow of a person you are. And uh, we had several athletes show us this, and such as John Holstein Franklin. I mean, that's Clay Taylor would say. That's the way I roll. I roll out, you know what I mean? Especially with the pop collar. I'm sure you could, um, you could prop a small baby on top of those pop collars. I'm telling you, <laughs> like they have those things for a lot. If two people maybe that decided it's the, cool, the coolest people in the school, it'd be uh, John and Ryan. Yeah, bring it back to the 80s. Shouldn't be. I mean, that's not cool. I think it's a marvelous tradition carried over from uh, European uh, individuals, particularly in Monaco, Gibraltar, etc. And should they choose to take that to Oklahoma, um, it's a very cosmopolitan place, and it's nice to see that practice. I was I was the first one to pop my collar, I think, with my jackets, rodeo jackets. This is how we pop our collars. Absolutely. As cool as he. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's kind of hard. Make me like a Okay, God! Do I look more attractive? Give us a little pop. Yes, well, you know, popping the collar is something that I'm looking at as a requirement for all the male faculty next year because as soon as I do that, I know that the guys' collars will go back down. I love the baseball players. Me and Matt have had our hard times, but all in all, they're just big teddy bears on steroids. The baseball players are a group of individuals who are a, somewhat of a team, but have always struggled with the, with the concept that, uh, that I think football players are inborn with. Well, I really don't mind baseball players because as a former baseball player, I can say that they're all unique and uh, they're all actually pretty cool, but I can see I can see how they can get on people's nerves from time to time. So again, they're the coolest kids. The collars pop all the time. And uh, well, Mike Zermley, he'd have to be one of the coolest ones. He, uh, <laughs> herbal body enhancers, you know, get the muscles. Uh, perfectly legal stuff, though, you know, never, never breaking the law. Um, they caused him to have some anger though. Uh, I think he took it out a few times. Or he wanted to. Um, the baseball players though, they're the coolest kids, yeah. I'd have to say. Uh, the baseball players. Uh, well, they're an interesting bunch of people. They make a lot of weird noises. The baseball team is an excellent group of young men with po positive uh, characteristics, very strong, very academically sound, and I look forward to working with them in the future. The baseball players. I love the baseball players. Those guys are the greatest. You know, they've, they've got a lot of good times, good memories. Matt Berry, I mean, I just love that kid. And all the rest of them, I mean, they're just great guys. Oh, they sleep a lot in class. I know that for sure. Jake, Michael, all of them. I hope you guys had good naps all during first hour. But I don't, <laughs> I, they make some weird noises, and I frankly, I just can't understand them. I mean, I don't know if they're on speed, meth. <laughs> Something. I know a couple of them are on the roids, certainly. <laughs>